Man, look here, man. I want to um put some out there right quick, man. I want to talk to. I want to talk to the people right quick about some shit, man. Some shit that I didn't had on my mind. I really don't want to. Um, I can't talk too loud because I don't want to wake my. Uh, I don't want to wake my peeps up back there. She getting some good sleep right now, so I don't want to wake her up. So trying not to talk too loud about this shit. But anyway, look here. Man, the shit I want to talk about, man, is, is man, the shit I be seeing out here. A lot of y'all, a lot of people are looking to get, like, new results using old tactics from the old economy and shit. Like, you looking to get something new. And you, but you're using old tactics from the, from an old economy. We're in a whole new economy, man. And you got to adjust and you got to adapt, man, to the fucking economy that you in, man. A lot of stuff that, a lot of stuff, bro, that, a lot of stuff that, man, we did in, in the 90s and early 2000s, man, as far as, uh, business and, and getting money and shit like that. You still can use those 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 tactics, but a lot of that shit, man, it ain't what it is these days, man. And you you'll be you'll be busting your ass, man, spinning your wheels trying to do shit the old way, man. But put it like this, doing shit that you was able to kind of come up on in the old economy. In this new economy, bro, it's a whole new ball game, bro. And if you don't get on that fucking, if you don't jump on the wave and ride that wave, man, you won't get a chance to, you know what I'm saying, experience the shit that this new economy, you know what I'm saying, will bring all the benefits and all that, the beautiful shit, man, about the beautiful parts about this new economy, man. But anyway, check this out. Oh. Uh, the way we used to get money, man, the way I, the way we was taught to get money was go to work. Go get get a good get a go to school, get a motherfucking job, and um, you know, get out of school, get a job, go to work, and you know what I'm saying, you work for motherfucking a trillion years, retire and and, and get you some four one Ks and 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 all that. Look here, man, nothing against nobody that got a job. I have nothing against a job. Me, me personally, personally, I don't really like to do with somebody telling me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to wake up when somebody else want me to wake up. I don't like to do what somebody else want me to do all the time. As far as a job, I like I'm, I like to do. I'm a free spirited kind of person. I like to do shit how I want to do. So therefore, a job. That was cool for me when I was younger, man. But these days, as I done got older, that ain't what time it is for me, man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 as far as that, I don't I don't want to have no cap on the income that I make. When you got a job, you got a certain cap on your income. You know how much money you gonna get paid every fucking week or every two weeks. You know what you gonna make. It ain't no such thing as you go to work one day and all of a sudden you got a five hundred thousand dollar bonus or no shit. So you got a cap on how much you make. But anyway. Doing shit, man, in this old economy, man, is I mean in this new economy, man, it's a little bit different, man. You can't you can't expect to to make a certain amount of money in this new economy doing old shit. You know what I'm saying? If you got a business, man, you need to be using strategies from the old economy and the new economy. You need to be learning social media. You need to be learning these fucking platforms, man, that's out here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Social media and all this shit. You need to be on top of that because the businesses that are thriving real good understand this shit, man. Like, they understand Pinterest. Uh, they understand Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, you, see, you you understand what I'm saying? Uh, so what I said I was going to do is I'm going to get back to the basics. And while I'm getting back to the basics, I said I'm going to record a video just to kind of show what's going on so you can understand the, uh, the potential of this shit. 
You know what I'm saying? This is one of my stores that I had created. This is a women's store, a women's boutique. I got all kind of shit up here. I'm still building the store. But check this out. This is a Shopify store right here, man. It's called Shopify. Let me go to the site right here, Shopify.com. Right? So when you first starting to fuck around with Shopify and you first start getting into it, let me put on the big screen. And you start to learn, or you're looking to learn, Shopify, right? The first thing they teach you is, okay, you want to find a, you want to find websites, you want to find Shopify websites that are doing extremely well, and you want to mimic what they are doing, right? But, you know, everybody... You know, has a way of doing shit with their own stores and shit like that. Me, myself, I went off the grid and started doing some other shit. But what they teach you in when you first start fucking around is find successful Shopify stores and mimic them. And, and they tell you, look here, this is how you find successful drop, uh, Shopify stores, right? So I'm going to walk you through this shit. There's a website called myip.ms. Right, so you head to their website and you put in Shopify's IP address, which I have the IP address, I already put it in. Right, and you go through the process of the shit you need to do, and it'll give you a list of all the top Shopify stores in the world. You understand what I'm saying? It gives you a list of all the top Shopify stores in the world. Myip.ms find these stores and you mimic them, right? But I just want to show you the power of this shit. Check this out. I'm going to come down here to, um, if you're looking at this, you see uh, number two is a site called Fashion Nova. A lot of y'all, if you're female, you didn't heard of Fashion Nova. FashionNova.com. Now let me show you something about Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is a women's, I'm going to click on it. So you can see it's a women's um, clothing store. As a matter of fact, I just um, go to the website. Fashion Nova is a women's clothing store. But that's not what I want to show you. You see? It's a women's clothing store. It's a Shopify store now. It's one of the top Shopify stores in the world. Websites. You see it? So what they teach you is to find the top stores and mimic what they do when, you, when you're when brand new to, you know, to start trying to have success, right? So there's a website that you can take this Fashion Over. FashionOver.com There's a website that you can uh, put in um, Fashion Nova's web and it'll tell you which I've already done it it'll tell you just how how much traffic this store is getting every month basically how many visitors this store is getting every month right how many visitors does this store get every month? And it'll give you an idea of how good, how well the store is doing. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and put the thing up here, fashionnova.com. Right? Check this out. Fashionnova.com. Let me come back to my small laptop right here. I got that shit hooked up to my TV. But... Is uh, ranked number 398 in the country. Let me show you something. Now, this is going to tell you how much traffic, how many people this store is getting a month. Can you see that? Let me come up here. That's 26.95 M. 26.95 million people a month. That's what this website does. It gives you, it, it lets you know how many visitors how many people a month does this store you know get how many people are coming to that website every month 20 
it tells you, it gives you a lot of other data as well, but at the same time, I want you to look at this. 26.95 million visitors a month. And it tells you uh, most of the countries that uh, they run traffic to, most of the countries they run ads and promotions to, United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, and you know what I'm saying? It gives you a list of uh, it's a whole bunch of other countries, right? So, like I said, and it tells you how they run their traffic, they, I mean, how they run their advertisements, blase, blase. Right? But back to this 26.95 million. Let me, let me, if you ain't, if you not really, let me break this shit all the way down. If you got any business and you got a website for that business and then you're getting 26.95 visitors a month for that business, right? I would speculate you doing damn good, man. This is this is what I'm saying when I, when I say doing shit, doing doing the things like when you work in a business, man, in this new economy, you gotta learn, you gotta learn how to use the internet. You gotta learn social media. You crazy as hell if you don't know how to use the internet and and, and these other you know platforms on the internet. To run your business, man. If you're not trying to learn that shit as a business owner, you so far behind. It's ridiculous, man. But look, 26.95 million people a month. I want you to think about that, man. That comes to this store, Fashion Nova. Man, look, if they get one visitor, let's just say half of the store. Not even the full 26 million. Let's just say half of those people buy. The other half don't buy. You, you're looking at something around maybe 12 and a half, 13 million people or some shit like that. There. 13 million people buy something from your store every month. Thirteen. If 13 million people gave you $1 every month, that's $13 million a fucking month. A lot of people don't understand how fucking powerful this shit is, man. This 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 fucking internet, and and being able to use these different tools on the internet, man. But this is reality right here, man. So as I was getting back to the basics, man, you know what I'm saying. I want to kind of record this video and show the power of the internet. If you if you work in the inter the internet, man. And you use these different strategies, strategies, and you learn. There's no limit to the income you can make, man. And I know for sure this store is doing anywhere from between, I say, twenty million to probably over a hundred million a month. A hundred million dollars a month, while somebody's just basically chilling with a Shopify store, man. With one of these stores right here, Shopify. Right? So, you know, I, I used to scream, you know, I've been fucking around with this now for about three and a half, four years, something like that. You know, my first couple of years, I was really just getting into it, fucking around, didn't know what I was really doing. Then I really started to learn, started to say, okay, if I'm going to learn, I got to, sometimes you got to pay to learn, dog. And a lot of this shit ain't free. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't pay, man. Fifteen hundred dollars for a course on on different shit, on different strategies and shit. My only hang up has been Facebook has that that has been the only place I've advertised. That's my hang up. That's my fuck up. And at the same time, while I'm advertising on Facebook, it's been the place that's shut down my business accounts over and over again for for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, I said I'm going to go ahead and get deep with this shit this year, man. So I can go ahead and, and fully retire. I don't work for nobody else. I work for myself. I have, like, several Shopify stores and shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, man, you need to understand this new economy that we in, man. Like, E-commerce is what you call this shit. E-commerce, man, and learning how to 
use uh, YouTube, learning how to use Instagram and uh, and 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 the back end of Facebook, not the front end of Facebook. See, everybody on Facebook putting posts up in their news feed in they they regular posts, but Facebook has a back end where people don't a lot of people don't know nothing about. And so that's where you advertise on the back end. You can show you whatever you got. Like if you're selling something, you can show that shit to millions of people. You see what I'm saying? All over the world, not just the United States. But uh, this is some. Uh, these are some young guys, man, that have have like Shopify stores and shit, man. You know. Uh. It's a lot of these young guys, man. I'm going to tell you something else, man. Don't be afraid to learn from somebody that's younger than you, man. Because nine times out of ten, these motherfuckers done figured out some shit that you don't know nothing about. You living in a, in a, uh, in a time. You living in an older time. You see what I'm saying? So, man. Yes, it's real, bro. This shit is real life. This ain't no fake shit, bro. It ain't no fake shit. Let me see if I can uh, find this young dude. There you go. Find this young dude, man. Um. I have yet to buy his course, but I, you know, I, I bought several courses and I got quite a bit of knowledge on this shit, but at the same time, like I said, my hang up has been, my accounts being shut down, my business accounts being shut down, man, you gotta learn, you gotta learn what's new, you gotta learn what's new in this economy, man, as far as running your business and how and, and what's going on because these millennials are running the show and if you you see this shit right here let me pause this right here man you see this shit right here man them sales right there in one day right there with one of these shopify stores right here with one of these shopify stores those are sales man this this three three thousand three hundred sixty five that represents one day that's total sales for that day. That's three thousand something dollars, man, in sales in one day. You see what I'm saying? You can't be scared to lay that thing and, and get off into this new shit, man. Into this motherfucking new what's going on in this new economy, dog. I'm telling you, if you, you'll be missing out on so much opportunity. Um let me see here from July the twentieth. To August the second, this dude then did one hundred and five thousand dollars. From July the twentieth to August the second, the dude then did one hundred and five thousand dollars with this store, bro. So I'm telling you, bro, you gotta leave that door. You gotta leave that there and get off that. Oh. You come out that old ass mentality of I'm a I'm a just no you gonna you gonna wear yourself out. Pick a fucking book up, open your laptop up, and learn something, bro. It ain't gotta be this. I'm just saying it ain't gotta be Shopify. It ain't gotta be creating a store. You might not want to create a store. You might want to try something else, but you are gonna have to figure out, man, what's up because look. This new economy is digital, bro. This new economy is all digital, man. If you ain't learning this shit, bro, you're going to be left so fucking far behind. It's going to be ridiculous, bro. You see what I'm saying? You be like, damn, man, you know, I'm busting my ass. But, bro, this economy is always changing. You got to change with it. When it moves, you got to move. You know what I'm saying? When it goes a certain way, you got to. Don't mean you got to follow everybody. But I'm saying you got to learn new shit. You got to learn new shit out here, man. Don't be closed off to learning something new. Like I said, this Fashion Nova. Uh, this is one of the websites, man, I didn't just told you about. And this website, this is a Shopify website. 
is getting 26 million visitors a month. A month. 26 million a month. These people are easily doing from 20 to 100 million. They might be doing over 100 million dollars a month on this store, man. You got you you got to be smoking some kind of drug for this shit not to start getting to your mind to 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 the point where you curious to see man hold on and it's legal you ain't got to worry about getting no fucking you see what I'm saying you ain't got to worry about no doing no shit that'll get you in trouble because it's legal bro you got your own store or stores you can have as many as you want to have. But again, you don't have to fuck around with Shopify. But find, but you, it won't hurt you to find something and learn this fucking internet, man. Learn this shit, man. I spent a lot of time and a lot of fucking nights, a lot of weeks and a lot of nights up, bro, learning this shit. I didn't send my results. I didn't have good results with my stoves. I didn't send them to my brothers and shit so they can see. Both of them. You see what I'm saying? Hey, uh, when I when I when I first got into women's fashion, I started with women's shoes, and with with women's shoes alone. In one summer, I did motherfucking close to five thousand dollars in one summer with women's shoes. I'm telling you, man, learn this new economy. Because you you will not regret it, you know what I'm saying. If you if you young and you trying to figure out what you what you want to do, man, man, look, learn this new economy. You most of these millennials know what's up with it anyway. You know what I'm saying. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, Instagram. I'm steady screaming this shit because I I see a lot of people, man, sitting at home on YouTube making fucking YouTube videos, making millions of dollars, bro. But here it is, the older generation is, it seems like the only generation ain't figured it out is the older generation. They go, they want to go bust their ass, give up all their time, and you still ain't making enough money to be motherfucking me. You see what I'm saying? You still ain't really, really where you want to be here. So why not learn from these millennials, dog? And a lot of y'all millennials that might watch this video, this is the fucking future right here. Everything is digital. Everything is got to do. Even the, the fucking dollar is for the change, man. I'm telling you this shit now. So when it hits, you won't be surprised. The fucking dollar is for the change, bro. Bitcoin and all that shit, man, for the takeover, bro. You know what I'm saying? Learn something new. Put your money in something. Invest your money in something that you never invested your money in before. Besides dope. So that, uh, so that you can build, a, so your future can be kind of bright, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as, yeah, you might have kids and you want to leave your kids some. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't got to go through the shit you went through, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you got to learn something new. You see what I'm saying? You trying to, you trying to do this shit the old way and you're going to keep getting the same results over and over, year in, year. Year in, year out. Every year that comes, you're going to get the same fucking results because you're doing the same old school shit. When you lay that damn figure this shit out, then, damn, this is new, bro. When you figure out this is a whole different economy and you start, you start indulging into some of this shit and making money and finding out what's really up, you, you'll be like, okay. You'd be like, okay, you fuck around and make you a good day, one good day sitting around, just fucking around, not doing nothing. And you didn't start up something, you didn't start something up on the internet, and you just, you might be off out bullshitting. And you come back in the house and you didn't made more money in one day than you didn't, you know what I'm saying? Then made in, in a whole week or two at your job ever in life. You like, oh man, hell no, I gotta, I gotta see what's up with this. You see what I'm saying? Say, look here, man, I hope this motherfucking video will, will help somebody make a decision to say, you know what, let me go ahead and see what's up with this new school shit. Because that old school shit is cool, but I'm going to tell you straight up, you're going to bust your ass. I ain't got no problem with a job. I have no problem with a job. But when you get older, you ain't, 
I, I'm the motherfucker that ain't trying to be nobody tell me what to do, what time to wake up. If I wake up early, it's because I choose to wake up early. And I choose to start working on my business early. Not work on somebody else's business. Work on my fucking business. You see what I'm saying? Mind your fucking business. That's how you do that. Mind your business, not mind somebody else's. Build your business is what I'm saying. The, uh, the opportunity and the potential is limitless, dog. It's limitless, bro. 26 million visitors. 26.95 million visitors a month. On a Shopify website. Every month. I didn't watch this shit for 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 she over six months and they consistently get this kind of traffic. They consistently get these people, bro. August 2020. Let me put it up on the let me come over here. July 2020, you had 27.5 million people visit the store. Uh, August, what was that? July, August, 25 million. September, 24 million. October, 27 million. November, 32 million. See, the shit went up in November. December dropped down a little bit, but it was still 26 million. We here in fucking January, and I'm pretty sure they still getting the same amount of people to their fucking store every month. So you basically just figure out what are they doing? Where are they running their advertisements at? And you run your store the same fucking way. That's what I'm for the store doing. I'm getting back to the basics on this shit, dog. Um, they using YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and a little, and just a tad bit of Twitter. You know this this shit. This website here tells you a lot of, gives you a lot of stats on what they doing. You see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna scroll through all this. I know it's a lot of shit that you might not even, you might, I don't know what all that shit is. But look, I'm telling you something, man. You can lay that down, latch on to this shit, or you can, you, you know, you ain't gotta even get it from me. If you if you interested in this kind of shit, start just digging, man, around on YouTube to learn, man, what's really going on, bro. That's how I started off, bro. That's how I started off, bro. I started digging around and I jumped in and I saw it was real. When that money started rolling, I saw it was real, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's been months where I ain't did too good. It's been months where I ain't made money, but that's part of being an entrepreneur, dog. And then I'm going to tell you something else. Entrepreneurship ain't meant for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all comfortable. Some of y'all comfortable with going to work go work for somebody else and shit because you, you, you ain't got it in you to be no entrepreneur. That's, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with that. I ain't with nobody telling me what the fuck to do my whole life. You get older, you understand. Okay, look, bro. Things just starting to lead that though. When I wake up early, bro, my damn back be kind of still hurting from yesterday. My knees be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna do all this shit today. I don't feel like it, bro. Bro, I don't feel like hearing this motherfucking man or this woman telling me to come over here and do this. And then she got an attitude because her fucking weekend wasn't right. She ain't get the right amount of sex, or he ain't, you know what I'm saying, eat, eat the right amount of coochie, and everybody just feeling all bad and shit, you know what I'm saying? And that shit, they throwing they, man, they attitudes off on you. All that shit come with having a job on you, entrepreneur, and you a boss, and you running your own show, nigga. Old girl. Certain shit you ain't got to deal with. Say, man, I got a YouTube channel, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put y'all down with, brother, and I'm, I want you to... I'm, Cause I'm not. I'm gonna quit putting this shit up on Facebook. Slide on over to YouTube. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna start putting a motherfucking link in my descriptions, or put a, a YouTube button on my uh, videos. All you gotta do is subscribe to my goddamn channel. Cause I'm for to leave all this putting shit on Facebook. I'm gonna take it over to the other platform, and I'm gonna build my uh, presence over there on YouTube, bro. If you want motherfucking real deal knowledge on this shit, dog, everything that I know about, I'll tell you about, bro. Subscribe to my channel when I when I put that button up on my video. 
subscribe to my channel. I promise I won't leave any shit. I won't hold nothing back. And I said this year, I'm building something and I'm sharing everything that I know with some with whoever that wanna know. If you don't wanna know, who cares? God damn me. But if you wanna know, and if you wanna learn something different, bro, that's gonna benefit you and your family, dog. I ain't holding back. Subscribe to the channel. I'm talking about all kind of shit, from business to real life shit, whatever. I'm going to get at you.